6 News. A Milwaukee police officer is back in Milwaukee and back on the job after running the marathon. She told our Beverly Taylor about the chaos and the call from here that came just at the right time. Gary Ann Yerkes, a Milwaukee police inspector, is back on the job, but asking some questions. What are we going to do differently? What do we need to do differently? Those questions are spawned by the explosion during the Boston Marathon Monday. Yerkes was one of the runners. Myself and my husband, we were running uh, the marathon together, and we were at about mile 25 and a half when all of a sudden we realized that there was something wrong. And we could tell something was wrong by just looking at the police officers along the route. All of a sudden, all the people in front of us had stopped and there were people now uh, running towards us. It was chaotic and she was exhausted. Someone told them there had been an explosion. They hadn't heard anything because the course with all of its spectators is very loud. She and her husband, also a cop, went into law enforcement mode. While a lot of people just stopped and stayed there, they reacted. Our first instinct is to get off the course and to try to get um, as far away from the area as we could because there wasn't anything that we could do where we were at to help. Finally, she got some information about just what was going on from Milwaukee. While my cell phone wasn't working to make calls out, I did receive a telephone call in from somebody from the police department here asking me if I was okay, who then gave me some information as to what was going on. The Yerkes' goal was to finish the marathon in four hours. That would have put them in the finish line area when the explosions occurred. But they just happened to slow down. Yeah, it's, it's funny how things work that way. Yerke says with all of the upcoming outdoor events in Milwaukee, they'll just have to be as prepared for threats as they can. As for running in another Boston Marathon, she says she'd like to. Mike? Thank you, Bev. Well, we will continue to bring you updates on the deadly explosions in Boston. You can find information on this story anytime at our website, fox6now.com. Other news right now, three children die in a